What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking the top anticipated sneakers of July 2023. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. Really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said, Nantraman, we're talking the top anticipated sneakers of July 2023. All right, man, y'all know I do my very, very best to try to get these type of videos out at the beginning of the month. So it'll be no different at this point. Maybe slightly behind, depending on when I can get all the content out there. But with all that being said, man, I'm going to grab my handy dandy phone, right? Okay. This is pretty much where I get all my daily sources and just my information. But again, I don't think there's nothing crazy top anticipated on the list just yet, but I am going to start off with, you know, what's going on. So if you guys like these type of videos, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, but let's dive right in because I don't want to ramble too much. So we're going to start right off in July. So if I be looking up and down, it's just that I'm referencing my phone, right? Okay. So right off July 1st, we have a Nike Dunk High Violet Brown is what we anticipated on July 1st. Now this is a high top shoe. Definitely, I will say maybe if travis did a high top like nike dunk high maybe a little bit of inspiration from there but you know neither here nor there well, let's move right along we have also on july 1st new balance is coming out the gate swinging like for the summertime man i've done more new balance videos than i anticipated so right off the rip this one is coming july 1st new balance 9060 multicolor right okay I'll be honest. Now, if you like those loud colors, Kwame, I can't help but think of you when I think of these not taking a shot at you or anything, but everybody likes their own preference. I think you like the multicolors or just colors that kind of just stand out that are unique, right? Okay. Versus the plain Jane, kind of like what I kind of do, right? Okay. So with all that being said, we have the multicolor coming on July 1st. Not a bad shoe overall. Look like also you fly July 1st. I said you fly. Hey, that actually kind of works though. But July 1st, right? We have a Violet Brown and a Nike Terminator coming July 1st, right? Okay, so Nike has definitely been dropping more Terminators here and there, and I think they're definitely trying to bring those back, which I'm not mad at it, right? Okay, but at the same time, if it ain't stick, it ain't it ain't gonna stick, you know what I mean? If that makes sense, but maybe Nike's gonna take it out for the rest of the year just to see how it goes for 2023. Now, moving right along again, July 1st, a lot of things come and swing at the beginning of the month. We have the Air Jordan 1, aka Panda, right? Okay. Now I say all that Air Jordan 1 KO, which is basically what Air Jordan 1 low, which a lot of people have debate. It's either knockout or knock off, right? Okay. Which is basically like the, it's supposed to be quote unquote, the cheaper version of an Air Jordan 1, right? Okay. So this is a low and it's coming in a Panda colorway and I got to keep it a hundred out of all the like Air Jordan, like one KO or a AJ KOs of what I've seen. These actually aren't looking bad, man. White and black, you really can't go wrong with. So, I mean, overall, not a bad shoe that they're coming off with July 1st. Again, it looks like they have, again, July 1st, another Air Jordan 1 KO, which is AJKO Low, coming July 1st in a bread colorway. Now, these, I got to keep it 100. I'm not truly too impressed. It looks like they're coming again with this. Again, July 1st, Air Jordan 1 KO in a field purple in a high version, right? Okay. Again, I will say this, if I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, all these dates are subject to change. This is just like a rough estimate. So if you haven't seen them loaded up on a sneakers app or the Nike app or the New Balance like website, take it with a grain of salt. This is just kind of like anticipated, right? Okay. Not guaranteed, just anticipated. But yeah, July 1st, they also have a field purple AJKO and a high, right? Okay. I'm personally not impressed with it, but I mean, we'll keep it moving. July 3rd, look like we have a Nike JA, which I'm assuming this is gonna be a Ja Morant shoe. Don't quote me on that, but it says JA, which I think is gonna be like, I guess it's short for like his name. Um, Amber Glow, right? Okay, so Nike hasn't officially dropped Ja Morant just yet, so that should be coming July 3rd to the best of my knowledge. Now, July 4th, look like we have a Nike Dunk Low and a Wash Denim, right? Okay, now, 
If you're looking like me, I'm thinking like there should be a lot of denim on this shoe, but it looks like the denim, they only touch like the back of the heel and the Nike check of the shoe. Don't know how I feel about it just yet, but they're coming July 4th to the best of my knowledge. Now, July 6th, we have Air Jordan 2 Low Varsity Royal, right? Okay, now if you're like me, I've said this time and time again, Jordan Brand, give us a break on the Air Jordan 2, right? Okay, I'm personally, I'm not, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. But at the same time, y'all got to just take, you know, you got to take this stuff with a grain of salt too, man. And that's just what I'm talking about at Nike. Now, moving right along on to July 7th, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Bronze, right? Okay. Now, I will say this. Looks like it's got the old school vibes with these as well. It looks like it's going to be a big bubble vibe with these. So these will be super comfortable. Now, I will say this. As I own the Air Max 1 big bubble, like the red joints, the white and red joints, it, they are comfortable, but it did take me a minute to bring those joints in, so I assume it'll be no difference when it comes to these bronze, right? Okay, now moving right on, on to July 8th, we have the Air Jordan 2 again, right? Okay, University Blue, right? Okay, and just like I said previously, Jordan Brand, give us a break on the Air Jordan 2. Spread stuff out a little bit. That's just how I meant it. But overall, not looking like a bad shoe, but these are anticipated July 8th. Now we have July 10th, we have a New Balance what is it 196 r rain cloud right okay overall not a bad shoe for your new balance heads out there pretty plain jane if you ask me but at the same time when i say plain jane i meant to say like neutral color so it looks like these are going to be very versatile so you really can't go wrong with the shoe now moving right along we're gonna keep it scrolling keep things scrolling here and i'm just going through the list it's like air um well, I'm almost at air but anyway june 13th we have the air jordan 12 brilliant orange right okay looks at first glance if you don't do a double take it could be almost passed off as a flu game but that like brand that brilliant orange is what they're calling these you can tell the difference not a bad shoe but i won't be surprised to see these sell out in the hood these are coming july 13th now july 14th we have a nike air force one low and a united and victory colorway now i yeah i mean i have the image up on the screen and i gotta keep it 100 these are really really not doing it for me and looks like also on july 14th they're gonna do the opposite version where a majority of the shoe is white and the nike check has that logo again if i gotta pick between the two i'll take the all white pair with the nike check design all over it. but neither here nor there both pairs kind of like eh meh you know what i'm saying um moving right along july 14th we have some nike cortezes right okay not the og colorway to the best of my knowledge and if it is feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section um currently not really truly impressed with those but july 15th we're moving right along nike air force one low split right okay for the air force one heads out there there's a lot of people that collect air force ones and there's nothing wrong with that air force ones are comfortable and moving right along again july 15th we have the nike air force one low unc split so it looks like nike's doing a lot of versatility right here when it comes to that so we're gonna move right along to july 15th air Jordan seven is going to be calling a chambray colorway which looks like a jordan unc alternative like basically it's all black with the baby blue like hits to hits to it right okay so yeah air jordan 7 chambray right hopefully i'm saying that right and if i'm wrong feel free to feel free to correct again down in the comment section july 15 we're coming again with air jordan 6 craft this craft series, they kind of been throwing at us too, left and right. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, they've done like the fours, I've seen twos, seen a lot of different variations. Now, I will say these, they should call this like University Gold, if you ask me, but I think they already probably got something like that, so they want to call these the craft. Not a bad shoe overall. Also, it looks like if, like, it gives me like, what am I thinking of? um the ovo like jordans like when they dropped back a long time ago that nobody really thinks in or remember hence why i just probably had to really go down the memory lane and think myself right okay so pretty much those are coming july 15th july 20th we have nike air max one chill 2.0 so if you're your air max heads out there right there now this shoe we've seen this on the radar july 21st nike dunk sb born and raised now these were actually supposed to come at the end of the month of june but now it looks like they've been pushed back to july 21st they keep pushing them back man we've seen several different release dates on these as well um 
I know for a fact this is something that Dunks has on his radar and I can't be mad at it and to be honest, I'm not mad at the pushback because reality is they're not looking bad as we get closer to those release dates. Now, if they would have dropped back in June, I probably would have easily skipped. But now that we got them pushed back a little bit, giving me a little bit more time to think, eh, you know, what can I say? I guess the short answer is I'm on the fence. Now, moving right along, July 21st, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Clear Jade. Um, which looks like a off aqua to me, but that's only if you ask me. Now, moving right on, on to July 22nd. This is the big shebang, and I feel like everybody's kind of been low-key talking about, and I've been on the fence with, is the Air Jordan 1 High University Blue. Now, it gives me vibes of, we already had a like an Air Jordan 1 UNC, right? Okay, then we had, that's the white and blue joint. Then we had the Air Jordan 1 Obsidian, and now we got the University Blue. I gotta keep it a hundred. I'm on the fence. Retail, I'm gonna say this, right? Retail, yeah, I'll fall for it, right? Okay, but I will not pay resale for these guys. But these are coming July 22nd. Not a bad shoe overall. Um, keep it moving right along. Air, um, I almost said air again, but anyway. June 26th, we have the Air Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago. Look like they're doing another version of these as well. This is supposed to be a low coming on July 26th. July 28th, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Rugged Orange. Um, eh, not sure how I feel about them. Not a bad shoe overall, but we'll see as we get closer to these release dates. Y'all know I'm going to do my very best to have drip or skip or drip flip or skips for all these shoes. Now, moving right along on to July 28th, we have an Air Jordan 1 OG Black Toe. I will say this, I'll just stick with the highs versus the lows. I'm going to leave it at that. July 29th, we have the Air Jordan 3 Palomino. Now, we've seen this talk and talk again throughout several lives, throughout several videos. A lot of people were anticipating these guys as well. I think Dunks is anticipating the Air Jordan 1 Palominos, but we have the threes coming July 29th. Um, very interesting shoe. Again, subject to change with all these dates, so they've got to take it with a grain of salt. Now, moving right along again, I think that pretty much closes things out because it goes right into the August category right there. So we're gonna stop it right at the month of July. Not too much. Um, anticipated on the radar, a few little things here and there, but I will say this, the one thing that's really sticking out to me is definitely those um, Jordan 1, like, University Blues or UNC joints or the UN, like, whatever it is, we're going to see as it gets here close to release dates. That's the only thing that's really kind of on my radar. I'm very curious what you guys have on your radar as well as I just went through these shoes so y'all let me know what y'all think for the month of july i'm not mad at these chill months because i've been able to stack a little bread and save a little bit so you know i always tell you guys always prepare <laughs> for october november december because they hit us like we have no other life when it comes to those months man they're gonna hit us with some bangers for sure but other than that man this wraps up today's videos for the top anticipated sneakers of the month of july y'all sign off in the comment section if y'all are feeling these type of videos of course let me know what you're anticipating for the month of july other than that i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling man y'all be sure to hit that like button it really helps the channel out and if you know consider subscribing i make content about sneakers again my name is jeremy jones and thank you for watching and Come out. I figured out.